Hi, my name is Sean Olson. Today's lesson is collision models and we're going to focus on a new tool that's not yet available but will be soon which will allow you to make collision hauls quickly and easily via the wall worm model tools. And this tool is provided through Convexity which is a piece of software created by Maple3D which you can learn about them at maple3d.com. So we have a scene here and this is just a displacement and one of the things you might want to do in, in a, a, a scene is make an arch and using displacements to do that is slightly difficult so you may want to make those as a model but the problem with models is you have to make a collision hole so let's bring out our arch here say in our scene here we want this arch to go over now if we were to open up wall or model tools and pick our model here we would have a, a problem if we just use the auto hole feature. If we were to export this as it is right now we would have a problem. Here's our our arch but if we go to physics you'll see that the collision hull goes wide across here. And the problem with that would be is if you try to throw a grenade through this area here it'll just bounce right back or if you try to walk through this area right here you won't be able to walk through. The collision hull does not match the shape of this and that's the problem with using the auto hall button right here now if you happen to own convexity and it's not yet released yet so even if you do currently own it you can't use this feature but soon you will be able to it's called the quick hall using that will be very very easy to make more complex collision halls now there are some steps that we have to take each part of the collision hall that you need needs to be detached into its own little element. So what I'm going to do is detach each little segment along here that needs to be turned into a collision hull. And what we'll do is, I've already selected this bottom one and turn it into an element. Each time you've broken one off, you may want to hide it. So what we can do here is do hide selected. We're going to go to polygon mode. And for the next section, I'm going to detach as element. <clears throat> detach to element and then immediately hit hide selected so I don't have to worry about selecting it again. Again, we want to detach as element and then hide selected. Detach, hide selected. Now for this section here, I'm going to pop this off onto its own little collision hole. Alright, detach, hide selected, and you understand how it's going. I'm going to pause this and just do the rest. So now that I've broken it up and you can see how it's broken up, I can, each of these is its own little chunk. And what's going to happen is the tool is going to convert each of these into a convex collision hull and automatically assign it. Once you've cut that up, pretty much this is all you really have to do for most models is click this button. If we click this, it'll take a second here. And while it's doing this, I want to say thank you, Michael Little, for being awesome. He's the one who created this utility. So I'm going to hide my arch here, and you're going to see just the collision holes. And each one of these is a convex shape that matches our scene, or our model here. And it's already part of the tool, so if I uncheck here now and just hit export model, we're going to see what happens. Let's look at our model now in the model viewer. Let's refresh it. Look at that. The convex shapes are matching our geometry. 
now. Um, you know, you may go into, you may need to tweak it if your model needs specific things, but in reality, this is probably going to solve 95% of people's collision hole uh, needs right here. There is another tool called the Advanced Hall Tool, which I'm not even going to bring up the interface now. I'm going to wait until Convexity has been updated to include that because it's not completely finalized. So uh, if you want this Quick Hall and the Advanced Hall Tool, you're going to have to get Convexity at maple3d.com. It's one of my favorite plugins. I'm going to bring up the UI real quickly to show you a basic preview of the uh, UI of Convexity right here. It's got a lot of tools that are not even listed here, but I use it just as much as I use all of my own tools. Look forward to updates on this at wallworm.com and the forums wallworm.net. My name is Sean Olson. I look forward to hearing some feedback from everyone. Thank you and have a good day.